Kellen Mond grew up three hours away from Texas A&M, and when he took full control over the starting quarterback job, many believed he would be able to bring the Aggies back into national title contention. Going into his senior year, he has yet to do that, but has one last chance this season. But who is Kellen Mond? In the Who Is series, we go through the backstories of up-and-coming collegiate and pro athletes. If you like this video, consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. Kellen Mann was born in San Antonio, Texas on June 22, 1999. When he was two years old, he damaged his family's aluminum blinds with a football. To this day, those blinds are still up in his house and will not be taken down until he is either drafted to the NFL or graduates from college. The NFL has always been an end goal for Mond. Both Mond's parents are accountants and have studied recent drafts and know when and where every quarterback has been drafted. One rule Mond's family has for him was that he needed to finish his degree at whatever college he chose to attend. When Mond was two years old, his father had him throwing the football from his knees. Every day, Kevin Mond, Kellen's father, played football in the backyard and ran drills with him. Kellen Mond originally attended San Antonio Reagan High School. During his sophomore year, Mond was named the second team all district. During Mond's junior year, he threw for 1,991 yards and 26 touchdowns. He also rushed for nearly 900 yards. Due to his performance, Mond was named the District 26-6A Offensive MVP. Going into his senior year, Mond shocked Texas high school football fans when he decided to transfer to IMG Academy in Florida, a powerhouse prep boarding school located in Branton, Florida. During his lone season at IMG, Mond threw for 1,936 yards and 20 touchdowns, along with 775 rushing yards and another 18 touchdowns. Mond set the IMG record for the most passing touchdowns and rushing touchdowns in a single season. After the season, Mond was named to be an Under Armour All-American. Mond originally committed to Baylor University, and most people believed he was going to be attending Baylor, but decided to decommit from Baylor because he originally thought he would be playing for Art Bryles, who had been fired. According to 24-7 Sports, Mon was a four-star prospect who was the third-best dual-threat quarterback behind Tua Tungavailoa and Tate Martell, 20th-best player in Texas, and 108th-best player nationally. Mond had 17 different offers from the likes of Auburn, Clemson, Georgia, LSU, Ohio State, and Texas A&M. According to 24-7 Sports' Crystal Ball, many believed Mon was going to commit to Auburn, but on June 6, 2016, Kellen Mon committed to Texas A&M. Going into Mond's freshman year, head coach Kevin Sumlin was on the hot seat going into the season. Sumlin had not had a double-digit winning season since 2012 and was coming off back-to-back -back eight-win seasons. Mond competed against Jake Hubenak and Nick Starkle for the starting spot. In a 45-44 loss to UCLA to open up the season, Starkle got the start, but Mond still got playing time, only completing three of his 17 passes for 27 yards as well as rushing for 54 yards on the ground. In a 24-14 win over Nichols, Mond split time with Hubenak. Mon completed 12 of his 21 passes for 105 yards and one touchdown. Mon got the start in a 45-21 win over Louisiana. Mon completed 21 of his 34 passes for 301 passing yards, three touchdowns, an interception, and a rushing touchdown. In a 50-43 win over Arkansas, Mon threw for 216 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception, as well as rushing for 109 yards. Mon struggled against Mississippi State in a 35-14 loss and left the game early due to an injury. Mon held on to the starting job against Auburn, but split time with Starkle. Starkle played a majority of the game against New Mexico, and Mon would not see playing time at quarterback for the remainder of the season. Mon finished his season appearing in 11 games, starting 8 of them. Texas A&M was 5-3 when Mon was the starter, and finished the season throwing for 1,375 passing yards, 8 touchdowns, and 6 interceptions. Mon also rushed for 340 yards on the ground and 3 touchdowns. Going into Mon's sophomore season, Kevin Sumlin was fired, and Texas A&M hired former Florida State head coach Jimbo Fisher, who was known for developing quarterbacks. Mon won the starting quarterback job and never gave it up. In a 28-26 loss to number 2 Clemson, Mon threw for 430 passing yards and 3 touchdowns. He struggled against number 1 Alabama in a 45-23 loss, throwing for 196 yards, 1 touchdown, and 2 interceptions, while also rushing for 98 yards and a touchdown. In a 26-23 win over South Carolina, Mon threw for 353 passing yards and one touchdown. Against Ole Miss, Mon threw for 236 passing yards, three touchdowns, and one interception, as well as rushing for a touchdown in a 38-24 win. Texas A&M and number 8 LSU played an instant classic game playing in seven overtimes where the Aggies would go on to win 74-72. 
Mon threw for 287 passing yards, 6 touchdowns, 42 rushing yards, and a rushing touchdown. In Texas A&M's 52-13 Gator Bowl win over NC State, Mon threw for 140 passing yards, 1 touchdown, and an interception, as well as rushing for 85 yards and another touchdown. Mon finished the season throwing for 3,107 passing yards, 24 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions. He also rushed for 474 yards and 7 touchdowns on the ground. Mon won Texas A&M's Most Improved and their Offensive MVP awards. Texas A&M finished the season with a 9-4 record, going 5-3 in conference. Going into Mon's junior year, expectations were extremely high for both him and Texas A&M. The Aggies opened up their season against Texas State, winning 41-7, where Mon threw for 194 passing yards, an interception, and had four total touchdowns. Texas A&M played in the game of the week when they traveled to Death Valley to play number one Clemson. The Aggies would leave disappointed, losing 24-10, where Kellen Mon threw for 236 passing yards, a touchdown, and an interception. The Aggies rebounded with a 62-3 win over Lamar, where Mon threw for 317 passing yards, an interception, and had two total touchdowns. In a 28-20 loss to number 8 Auburn, Mon threw for 335 yards and two touchdowns. In a 31-27 win over Arkansas, Mon outperformed both Nick Starkle, a former Aggies quarterback, and Ben Hicks, throwing for 251 passing yards, three touchdowns, and an interception. In a 47-28 loss to Alabama, Mon threw for 264 passing yards and two touchdowns, as well as rushing for 90 yards and another touchdown. In a four-game win streak that consisted of Ole Miss, Mississippi State, University of Texas San Antonio, and South Carolina, Mon threw for 834 passing yards, six touchdowns, and two interceptions, as well as 200 rushing yards and another four touchdowns on the ground. In a heartbreaking loss to number four Georgia, 19 to 13, Mon threw for 275 passing yards and a touchdown. Texas A&M finished their regular season playing against number one LSU, and Mon struggled only throwing for 92 yards and three interceptions. The Aggies would go on to win their bowl game against Oklahoma State 24-21, where Mon threw for 95 passing yards and a touchdown, as well as rushing for 117 yards and another touchdown on the ground. Kellen Mon finished his junior year with 2,897 passing yards, 20 touchdowns, and 9 interceptions, while also rushing for 501 rushing yards and another 8 touchdowns. Texas A&M finished the season with an 8-5 record going 4-4 in SEC play. Going into the 2020 football season, Mon's senior year, expectations are once again high for him and Texas A&M. In Todd McShay's most recent draft rankings, Mon ranks as the 4th best quarterback in the draft and 58th best overall player in the draft. According to Odd Sharks, Mon has plus 5,000 odds of winning the Heisman Trophy, which ranks 19th among college football. Texas A&M has plus 3,000 odds of winning the national championship, which ranks 11th in the nation and 6th in the SEC. The Aggies come in ranked as the 13th best team in the nation in the preseason AP Top 25 and open up their season on September 26th against Vanderbilt as 28 and a half point favorites. Will Mon be able to finally lead Texas A&M over the hump or will they fall short of their expectations once again? If you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel and leaving a like on the video. If you like the Who Is series, check out the playlist of all our other Who Is videos.